Hey friends, in this video we will compare custom ROM and stock ROM. So without wasting much time, let's get started. For this video, we are using two smartphones, Lenovo A5000 powered by custom ROM and Eyeball i9 powered by stock ROM. Both phones are powered by Cortex A7 cores, that is a quad core processor clocked at 1.3 GHz. Even the RAM is same at 1 GB. Most of the features are same in these two phones, so we pick the both. Ok, first we get a customized home screen. In stock ROM, if we need a customized home screen, we need to install a launcher. But in custom ROM, we can do it without a launcher. Let's go to about section to find the Android version and the custom ROM these two phones came. The eyeball iron is still stuck at Android version 6.0 which just came with it. But the Lenovo S5000 is running on Android 7.1.2 even though it just came with Android KitKat. Because we have updated the custom ROM to Android AACP based on Android Nougat. But there is no custom ROMs available for Eyeball Ionet. That's why it is still stuck at Android 6.0 Marshmallow. And also thing to note here is the root access. In many custom ROMs we get root access inbuilt in the ROM. But in stock ROM we need to root it manually. You can see the amount of RAM free on both devices. Even the RAM optimization is better in custom ROMs. As you can see in this video, the phone app launches faster in the phone with custom ROM, that is the Lenovo S5000. Even the third party apps like the Solid Explorer launched fast in this phone with custom ROM. You can see the status indicator icons. They can be customized in a custom ROM and also if the phone has root, but it's fixed in the stock ROM. The camera to API can be enabled via a custom ROM or a rooted device, but it is not possible with the stock ROM device you see on the right. Obviously there are infinite features you can unlock with a custom ROM, but due to the lack of time, we are limiting it now. Ok guys thanks for watching, if you like my video, please subscribe. Not only eyeball, even top brands like Samsung do not allow flashing custom ROMs on this device. Like this Samsung Galaxy S23. Even routing the phone cannot be done by using one click root such as King Roots.